What up YouTube and welcome to the Kind God King YouTube channel. So today I'm playing a game called BeamMG Drive. Now BeamMG has been out for a while, so it's not a recent game, but it is loads of fun. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into a free roam mode. Now this game itself is quite unique in a sense that it actually takes uh, physics into account rather than just any old sort of arcade car game it does use a lot of physics taken from the real world and they've put it directly into their cars so what I'm going to do is cars that you can use and um, I'll just do some driving to show you what it's like so as you can see the graphics of the game itself are quite good um, this course I've choose, chosen sorry, is just a basic grid map uh, now what that's used for is so the developers can basically test new cars, they can test some jumps as you can see around, and it's just a basic test bed so the developers can um, see how the cars and stuff that they create, you know, play in the game itself. Now having a look at the game here, um, you can see that there are quite a few different cars here. Now, BeamMG is a bit open source as well, meaning that you don't have to just use the cars you can see here. You can actually create your own cars, and um, you can also download cars that other people have created, um, which you can see here in the down more, download more option. Um, there's also some different sorts of jumps and um, all sorts of weird roadblocks that people have created um, that you can use in the game. Now, one of my favorite cars that I like using is this Gavril D series. Now, while it looks like a stock sort of ute, um, you can see here that they have created different variations of the car, uh, just to make it a bit more fun. So you've got the stock standard D15 up here. Um, there's also a Border Patrol vehicle, a sort of Maruda vehicle. Um, they've done extended cabs, there's short cabs. Now, probably the best one that I always use is the Pig. Uh, which is just a complete off-road vehicle. Now, not only can you sort of choose custom cars that they've made, you can also customize the performance of the car yourself by going into the vehicle config tab here. Now, as you can see when I open it up, there is a lot of customizations that you can do to every single car and every category opens up to a bit more. So as you can see, as I go over things here, you can change almost every aspect of the car to sort of customize it to what you want. Now, all I'll be doing, because I'm quite happy uh, with this car itself and how it performs, but it's gonna add a little bit more power because let's be honest, you know, more power is better. So it's got a level two supercharger on it at the moment, but I'm gonna up that to level three, which gives it a lot more speed, a lot more torque as well. So I'm going to quickly show you how uh, the car sort of performs and the physics that they've put into the game. Um, now, I'm just going to go to an off-road track. And as you can see, I've probably got too much power. I lost control almost instantly. But the way that they've made the game and with the physics that they've implemented, um, you'll see here, like just going through this little off-road section, you can see the springs um, and the suspension on the car actively going up and down just like they would in real life and it takes everything into effect now you can damage the cars quite severely so this car is made for off-road so it's not too bad through here but if i was to go to the next little course uh, which is extreme rocks and i try and go through at the same speed i just went through you're going to see exactly what i mean by <laughs> the different sort of levels of damage you can do to the car so as I go through here, you can see that it does take the hits quite hard. The suspension's actively trying to, you know, keep the car grounded, but it's not very difficult when you're driving through it like an idiot, <laughs> like I am. Um, but one other thing I wanted to show you, just how impressive this game is, is the physics of a crash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a wall pretty much full on. Uh, as fast as it will let me go and I'll show you exactly how they have implemented crash physics into the game now I'm just gonna hit this wall over here and as you can see bang doors flew off the cars crumbled just like it pretty much would be in real life now 
obviously hitting a wall at 100 miles per hour is probably going to do that to a car but they've also done things with the small scale as well so if i just hit a wall at a normal speed uh, we'll go up to about 40 miles per hour or so and i rolled it that's not good but as you can see on the front of the car it has taken damage pretty much like it would in real life um, so yeah, it's a cool game. It's currently on Steam. Um, I don't think it's all that expensive as it is a little bit old in comparison to other games I play. Um, but definitely check it out. Let me know if you have played it, what you thought of it. Um, and if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like, leave a comment, that'd be good. And um, you can also find me on Facebook as Kind God King. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.